All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh, that's the correct name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Those are the true leaders of the nation of Israel today. And also I want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring his work in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, Mafia. And also I want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. All right, and um, today's lesson is going to be, we're going to talk about food shortages. All right, because, um, you know, um, if you pay attention to alternative, um, if you pay attention to alternative, um, um, media, alternative media, all right, like Dabu Seven, you know, A AM TV, you know, you, you you hear about the food shortages that that are um, that, that are here, all right. You know, you, you go to your local um, Walmart, you go to your local Aldi's, Winn Dixie, all right. It, it tells you to um, to say um, um, you only can buy two. Um, like two meats, you know, but these are the times that we enter in there, all right, and uh, food shortages is, is a part of, of um, it's, it's that biblical prophecy, you know, so we are living in prophetic times, you know, we are living in the last days, and some, some of the prophecies in the last days consist of, you know, uh, famine of the, uh, famine of, of food, all right, so um, we're going to pull some few, um, few scriptures, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Matthew chapter 24. I started at 7 and I jumped to 25. Matthew 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So these are the beginning of the sorrow. So these are the times that we're living in. Earthquakes in diverse places. You know, earthquakes happening at a rapid rate. You know, go on Google and type in earthquakes 2020. You know, there's earthquakes, um, there's earthquakes happening every day. You know, but if you go, if you watch um, CBN and Fox, you know, they don't, they're not telling you about these earthquakes that's happening in diverse places. You know, nation rising against nation, you know, um, kingdom rising against kingdom. You know, these are the times that we're living into. Race wars, you know, these are the times, these are the signs of the times, of the end times. Uh, jumping down to verse 20, it says, But pray ye that your flight be not into win in the winter, neither. All right, let me read Matthew chapter 24, verse 20 again. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. All right, it says, Pray, that, pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. All right, and winter's, winter's coming up. All right, and you hear. You hear of food shortages, you hear of earthquakes in diverse places, you hear of pestilence, coronavirus, all right? You know, so hey, this can be that this can be that winter when, when, when all hell break loose, all right? When, when uh, martial law break out in these streets, all right? When there's a famine of, 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 of bread, when there's a famine of hearing the word, all right? So Israel, we, we, we have to come back and see how about Shunel Shai, all right? Now, read 21. Verse 21. Verse 21, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor no, nor ever shall be. All right, so that great tribulation. All right, great tribulation is talking about um, 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 Jacob's trouble. All right, um, talks, about the, talks about that in Daniel's the 12th chapter, Jeremiah the 30, 30, 30th chapter and the 7th verse. All right, so we're about to come into a time like never before, you know? Um, sedition among men. All right, you gonna have people invading your houses. You gonna, you gonna have um, nation rising against nation. All right, you know it's gonna be total chaos in these streets. All right, you're not gonna be able to call nine one one for safety. You're not gonna be able to um to to, to go to, to to your best friend's house. You know and, and grab a bite to eat. All right, because because everybody's gonna be going against another. You know <coughs> you know you, your, your best. Your best friend is going to be trying to uh, he, he be breaking into your house, you know, tr trying to steal your food, all right? Um, rape your woman, take take all your goods that's in your house. These are the times that we coming into, all right? All 
right. Um, this is Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, and um, in verse. Um, let me start at fifteen. For the sword and the destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right. These are the um, these are talk about the race wars, you know. And in sixteen, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their prince. In the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So in these times, you know, nobody's going to be listening to um, the president. Nobody's going nobody to be listening to, um, to, to the governor. You know, nobody's going to be following, you know, these laws that, that people abide by today. You know, it's going to be all hell breaking loose. You know, everybody trying to, um, trying to survive. All right. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, you know, so we live in South Florida, all right, um, in West Palm Beach. All right, shalom. All right, um, the second Ezra 15 and 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, all right, you know, so you're not going to be able to go, you living in West Palm Beach, you're not going to be able to, um, to, to go into Fort Lauderdale. All right, if you if you in Chicago and you living on the south side, all right, you're not gonna be able to go to the west side or the north side or the east side because the um, because because the military they gonna have they gonna have the, these entry these entry points blocked off. All right, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And shall spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, you know, so you, you, your, your people closest to you. All right, your, your your family. All right, your best friends, your neighbor. All right, your your um your your, your side chicks. All right, you know that these these people are going to be um, breaking into your houses, um, to, trying to steal trying to steal your goods. You know, people are going to be killing you over a can of beans. You know, uh, people are going to be robbing you. You know, um, people gonna be robbing you for a loaf of bread. All right, these are the times that we're coming into. All right, and this is all biblical prophecy. Okay. And the scripture say, "The love of many shall wax cold." You know. And uh, this is Ephesians chapter five and verse fourteen says, "Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and a Mashiach shall give thee life." See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You know, we gotta we gotta be circumspect out here. All right, well, look, uh, scripture says be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right, if you watch a serpent, all right, those are wise creatures, man. All right, you know, and that's the times that we come in. That we in we in those times now, man. All right, because the love of many is wax and cold as we speak. All right, so we gotta move with wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our time. All right, you know, and uh, Matthew, let me get this real quick. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 it says, But he answered and said, Well, let me start at verse 3. And when the tempter came to, came to him, he said, If thou be son of son of the Most High, command these stones to be made bread. All right, that was the devil tempting you out shot. Verse 4, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. All right, so our, our, our real food is these scriptures, man. All right, wisdom and knowledge is, is going to be the stability of our time. All right, that's what the scriptures it says multiple times. You know, meditate on the precepts. All right, the Most High is going to be a guide to them. You know, that keep it, that keep its precepts. All right, you know, so the, the precepts is our really our comfort. All right, you know, we meditate it, it, things that we go through. You know, if we get in. The, an argument with our family, our family may go against us. We know that's in the scriptures. All right, a precept pops up. All right, man's enemy shall be those of his own household. All right, uh, you know, it's people turning on you. You know, people call you the devil, you evil. All right, that's all already in the scriptures, man. All right, they say Yahweh had a devil. All right, and we are we already know that he was a uh, he was he was marked as a perfect man. Right. Scriptures say the servant is not greater than our master. So Yahweh he called the devil. Yahweh was called wicked. Yahweh got crucified. You know, our forefathers was getting persecuted. You know, the same things are going to happen to us. All right, it's the Sirach 2 and 10. 
Look at the generation of old and see the ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You know? So we have to we have to read these scriptures and, and, and look at and look at our forefathers. Alright? You got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Alright, they got thrown into that fiery furnace. But the Lord, all right, he he saved them. All right, he pre he, he preserved them. All right, you Peter. All right, he got freed. Um, Peter, he got freed out of out of prison. You know, an uh, uh, angel tapped on his shoulder. You know, and told him to get up. You know, um, um, who was that line with him? Aaron, Meshach. You know, uh, Slocky, but the um, um, where where where. where where our forefathers got thrown into that into the lion's den, you know the 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 angel closed closed those um he closed the the lion's mouth, you know and 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 and, and he preserved um he, he he preserved them from 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 that from that judgment, you know. So we have to read these scriptures and meditate on how to on how the Lord delivered our forefathers, you know, out of different trials and tribulations. All right, and um and the same things are coming in these times. You know, Yahushua said, "Ye shall do the um, do greater miracles than I." You know, so so we 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 about to we we about to go into these times, all right? Where the Lord is going to be doing miracles, all right? The Lord is going to be is going to be saving his, his servants. You know, this is Romans chapter eight and verse. I start at five. It says, "For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit." For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right, to be carnally minded, you know, is is uh is death, man. All right, so people people in, in the times of uh, Jacob's trouble, all right, food, I need food, I need food. All right, they're gonna be thinking carnally, all right, and that's gonna ultimately lead up to them taking the chip so they can eat. All right, you know, people uh, get bugged out for not eating for a couple hours. All right, imagine days without eating. Cannibalism is gonna come. People are gonna be carnal, man. To be carnally minded is death, man. That's how. That's why a lot of people are gonna die, all right? Because they only think outside the flesh, you know. But we're gonna be thinking uh, on the spirit. Wisdom and knowledge will be the spirit of our time, like I said, man. Like right. the scriptures say. So like it, that was Daniel. Daniel got thrown into the lion's den, you know. But the Lord, he 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 delivered him, you know. So he, these are the times that we that we about to enter into, all right? Peter getting thrown into um, into prison, right? The scriptures tell you that the devil shall cast some of you into prison. You know, so the Lord, he's, gonna, he's getting ready to do miracles. All right, you just got to believe. Uh, verse 7, Romans 8 and 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. All right, so being carnal minded, all right, you are an enemy of, of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, all right, the Lord is not dealing with somebody that's that's carnal minded. All right, oh, I need to eat. All right, because the scripture said, you know, thou be a man of appetite, put a throat, uh, put a knife to thy throat. You know, you know, so food, you know, it's not a big deal, man. He feeds the Lord. He he feeds the uh, the sparrows. All right, we witnessed that last camp. The Lord feeding the sparrows. How much more so uh, his servants, his prophets? All right, and it says verse eight. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high, man. If you're uh if you if you if you're of the flesh, man, all right, the flesh is your God, all right, you're not pleasing to the most high, man. The Lord is going to destroy you. All right, and that's two thirds of our people, and we already know these heathen nations are gonna be destroyed, man. Thus saith the Lord. You know, that's why it's good, you know, to start um the scripture say rehearse the righteous acts, you know, so you know it's about to be a famine. Hey, so once you cut back on on, on, on eating. All right, because Babylon teach you to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, and have two snacks um, in between. You know, you have to you have to trim trim the fat. You know, you you, you see that you're eating five times a day, three times a day. Hey, once you start eating two times a day, all right, and then cut down to one time a day. You know, and, and, uh, and, and try fasting because you don't know. You know, the scripts say that we're going to eat, all right, but you don't know how often. You know, you, the, you don't know if that's Every um, you know, every three hours, like a Babylon teach you, you know, you eat at um, nine o'clock in the morning. Then you have lunch at, at twelve, and then you got then you got dinner at six o'clock. Then you got a, uh, a snack in between that time. 
You know, that's that's what America promotes. You know, glutton. All right. And in, the, in the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, it's, it's going to be so much. Uh, uh, what's the word? Like uh, adrenaline. You know, because we gonna we know the Lord is coming in at any time. All right, and we're gonna be on the move. You know, moving with wisdom. All right, we're not gonna be even thinking about food like that. You know, uh, you know, we may think about it. You know, late night. You know, you know, but food is not gonna be a main priority, man. All right, we're gonna be focused on the spirit. All right, standing in the spirit. All right, and, and meditating on the precepts and and the coming of our Lord. All right, it's Isaiah. 65 and I started 12 Therefore will I number you to the sword And you shall all bow down to the slaughter Because when I call ye did not answer When I spake ye did not hear I ain't talking to the two thirds Because the scriptures say that my word You should go out throughout the four corners of the earth And then the end shall come Alright and you know so everybody When, when all hell break loose Every, each, every um, individual Has heard this word some way, somehow, whether it be by the YouTube, whether it be by you walking past the prophets on the highways and byways, you know, when it says, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delight not. So the two thirds, you know, they, they didn't, they, 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 they didn't, um, they didn't return unto the Lord. All right. So when all hell break loose, all right, the Lord is not going to protect you. He's not going to be a refuge. It tells you that in Psalms, the ninth chapter and the 10th, you know, he's going to be a reference to, to those you know, he's going to be a reference to those who, who've been oppressed, all right? And the, the, the servants of Yahweh Shem Shai is the most oppressed um, individuals on the face of this earth, all right? Men and women, all right? In verse 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty, all right? So, the, so, the, so the, um, the servants of the Lord, all right, the men, all right, and the women that's been serving the Lord to the best of their ability, the Lord is going to protect you in those times. All right, he's going to make sure that you clothe. He's going to make sure that you eat. He's going to make sure that, that you have uh, um, something to drink. All right, and it says, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see, so in this time, and hey, we're going to be rejoicing in this time. All right, we, we're going to be um trying to survive, you know, we're going to be going through it just like everybody else, but, hey, but we got the Lord on our side, all right, and that's one thing that um, two-thirds of our people, they don't have, you know, two-thirds of our people, they don't have Yahweh Bashim on their side, all right, they have no power on their side. Verse 14, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You know, y'all going to be howling and crying because 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 you, because you don't have the Lord on your side, all right. You have no protection. You got no hands over you, all right. And that's what you know. And that's the um, benefit of serving the Lord. You know, you serve the Lord in truth and sincerity. The Lord is gonna look out for you, all right. But the ones who disobeyed the Heavenly Father, the ones who haven't returned and repented, you know, the, those are the ones that's gonna be crying and and um, and, and, and howling for the vexation of the spirit, you know. Out with this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to close out with this. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. For without, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right, so we have nothing to worry about, man. We're not worried about the, the famine. All right. All right, let me read this verse again. This is Hebrews 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that do this to seek him. You know, so like I was saying, man, we're not worried about the famine, all right? Because we already know that it's, that it's coming, man. We, 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 we're, we're practicing, all right, for the, for the, for the big game day, like, like we always say, all right, which is, which is the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? And we're diligently seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, so we got to have faith that he's going to reward us, man. If we don't have that faith that he's going to uh, have that hedge against us, all right, you know, then you're not going to be, you're not going to be delivered, man. All right, you know, because, you know, because these Christians out here, they don't have, they're not going to have that, uh, that hedge and that protection, all right, because, you know, their shepherds, which is these pastors, you know, their shepherds is not, they're not uh, going out to the highways and byways, you know, and uh, and warning them for the destruction, all right, you know, they don't believe it's going to be, you know, uh, they believe, you know, that coronavirus, that's the worst it's going to get, 
All right, they're praying for this thing to go away. You know, while, while the true worshipers, all right, we're hoping it get worse. All right, if you're a true follower of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you're hoping it get worse. It gets worse here in America. All right, because that also is going to lead to our deliverance, man. The Lord is going to deliver the Israelites, man, the elect of Israel. All right, which, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, the Lord is coming to deliver the elect of Israel, man. All right. This is Sirach 2 and 13. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. You know, so you got to believe in these times. All right, you got to have faith. All right, because if you get thrown into a uh, concentration camp, you get cast into prison, you know, you can't lose your, um, you can't lose um, your faith in, 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 in the Lord. All right, because, hey, didn't Peter get cast into the prison? All right, you know, in the Maccabees? You know, um, th these are the times that we um, about to enter into. But you know, just because you're going through, um, you know, you, you're going through a, a trial and tribulation, you might um, not eat for two days. Hey, you can't, you can't, um, you can't be faint-hearted. All right, you can't stop believing in the Lord because the scripture just says He would not be defended. You know, so you got to keep the faith. All right, and, 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 and right now is the time to increase that faith. It's the time. Right now is the time to be getting in tune with Yahweh Hashem Yahushua and and um and increasing that faith, all right? Because we're gonna need each and every um inch of that faith in, in a time of Jacob's trouble, all right? So um, so that's it on this lesson. All right, we pray that this lesson was edifying. We're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushua Hashem Rakhakodash Yahweh. That's the correct name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the true name. Of his only begotten son, who this world even called Jesus Christ. We also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's been laboring this work in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, him, and also shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that's listening to these videos and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say shalom and to all of Hashem for putting the Spirit on us to make this lesson. Lord willing to the next lesson, we say shalom. Bob the ball. Bob the ball. Shalom. Shalom.